And now it's time for the catch, where we put a spotlight on reporting from and about the Great Lakes. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has proposed nationwide rules for limiting the amount of toxic forever chemicals, known as PFAS, in drinking water to trace amounts. MLive reporter Garrett Ellison has been following this story. It's an important uh, moment in public health in the United States. It's the first time that um, you know the EPA has proposed to regulate a drinking water contaminant in decades. The term PFAS refers to thousands of chemicals that have been widely used for decades, often to make items waterproof, stain resistant, or non-stick. The new rules would require utilities to treat drinking water if the individual chemicals PFOS and PFOA are measured above four parts per trillion, or if a combination of other PFAS chemicals exceeds a calculated threshold. There was a lot of applause from the activist uh, community who have been pushing for very stringent nationwide rules uh, just like this for a long time. However, some utilities and water providers see the situation differently. They look at this as, as sort of an unfunded mandate and say, you know, this is going to be expensive to comply with and it's very likely to uh, raise water rates um, on customers. There's also the possibility of funding coming through federal grants. As details will continue to unfold, Garrett says the EPA is proposing to finalize the new limits by the end of 2023. However, uh, most people are expecting that deadline to be pushed uh, because there is it expected that there will be some challenges to this in court, which could you know extend the timeline for implementation. Although nearly half of all U.S. states have some PFAS drinking water regulations, the new standards would be the first enforceable national standard for a contaminant in drinking water in decades. Garrett says the national guidelines are a move in the right direction when it comes to cleaning up drinking water, but he says it's important to remember that these contaminants show up in a lot of other places too. People get PFAS exposure through uh, food, um, the food packaging materials, uh, they can be exposed through clothing, cosmetics, carpeting. There's a lot yet to come, um, you know, when it comes to news on PFAS. 